Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm on the search for a better wallet than the one I currently have that's all worn out and needs replacing. This is the Allet. The latest contender is the As Seen on TV Wonder Wallet. This wallet is supposed to be able to hold 24 cards or credit cards and really big money. Let me show you just how big. Epic Review Guys. The Wonder Wallet is supposed to let you take everything from your bulky oversized wallet and fit it into this very thin format wallet so it can easily fit in your pocket, into your purse. It has RFID protection so that all your 24 credit cards that you may have in here, when the wallet is closed, people can't walk by and scan the chips in those cards. You can get this in black, tan, and red, and it goes for $19.95. I'll put a link to it down below this video. Now, when I look at the Wonder Wallet, I do wonder, is this really gonna fit in my pocket? Because this is actually pretty substantial size this way. So even though you may take your wallet that's stuffed full and is kind of fat, this one, if you're trying to wear skinny jeans or something, which I'm not, you might have a challenge getting this to actually fit in your pocket without part of it sticking up. I will test this out shortly with the jeans that I'm wearing, both um, in the front pocket where I keep my wallet and in the back pocket where I know some people keep theirs, which makes an issue why they always sort of sit like this. Now I'm going to see if I can take out this plastic section so I can get a better sense of what the wallet is constructed of. I'm thinking this is just uh, an insert, so you could, when these, because these are sort of like um, photo album, little slidey, plastic pieces that credit cards being pulled in and out after a number of times, this could wear out. So I understand you can replace the center part, but can we get it out of here? If you see. Okay, so that's the photo album of your dearly beloved credit cards. Here's the wallet itself. Now I'm not sure if you can see here, this almost looks like aluminum foil. Am I blinding you there with the reflection? Really, like aluminum foil, right? Which is enough to do the job of providing that RFID protection that they talk about. So this aluminum portion is basically in here, not in the external most part of the wallet, but that's the part that's going to surround your credit card, so that should work fine. One thing though that I think is a little silly is because they've made this to fit all these cards and to basically stretch out the material in your wallet so your wallet isn't as fat, the money portion for your cash is just ridiculously large. I mean, my money is gonna get lost in there or else I need to go out and get some more of it. it. It slides way down and it's far longer than an individual bill, you know, unless you're still using that old Confederate money, that giant size paper money. I'm going to take what's in my Allet right now and transfer it to the Wonder Wallet. I've actually got a 20 with my paper money today. I'm doing well, I have $28 here. This will have no trouble fitting in. The problem is just finding it later, I think. Now, let me take all my cards, load them up into this. I loaded 12 of my cards in here and I ran out of little slots. I still have more cards left over. So for 24, I realize they're going to make me actually slide a second card flipped over into each of these slots. So there are actually only 12 slots for cards. I have filled up the Wonder Wallet. Turns out I actually have more than 24 cards. I have some um, wallet size photos, cards for the kids, doctor and dentist, different things that I kept in this wallet right in here with the money. And so that's what I did here. I took those same cards and put them in here with the money. And I, I think over time they're likely to slosh around in there, but got all the cards in. I found that with a, like a paper card, uh, a Home Depot membership card or something in along with a credit card, that fits okay. Now to get out the card, um, there's, there's like an eighth of an inch that the card actually juts out past the plastic. So you have to pull them both out and then slide it and then you can take out the one card that you want. But it does all fit, it is fairly compact. If I had all of this in a standard wallet, it really would be much thicker. The all that's magic is that this has no thickness. This is the material that they make sales out of. And so it's incredibly thin like paper. So it doesn't add anything itself. Whereas with this, we've got the leather, a couple layers of that as well as the aluminum foil. So now it's time for modeling. Let me try this in the jeans and see how it looks. Okay, front right pocket. Here we go. Okay. 
not too unsightly. These pants fortunately aren't too tight. It's down about an inch and a half inside the pocket. So I don't have to put my hand all the way in the pocket to reach it to pull it out actually, which could be a bad thing with the back pocket because you may not want someone able to grab it so easily from the back pocket. Wow, it just fits in the pocket there side to side. And it's Oh, maybe a quarter of an inch down below the edge of this pocket. So for me to grab hold of it, I don't have to put my hand all the way in the pocket, just a couple fingers to pull it out, but it means it's that easy for anyone else to pull out of my pocket also. The next thing is to try sitting down with the Wonder Wallet in my pocket. Try it in the front pocket. It's noticeable. It, it's a lot larger than the wallet I had, but it's not uncomfortable. What people have said in the reviews is true that it, uh, since it, the cards have that split in the middle, it kind of folds around to follow the curve of your leg. So it's really not that bad in the front. Let me try it in the back pocket. Oh, back pocket's another matter. The corner of it's poking. And uh, it, it's there's too much curvature going on for it to deal with, I think. So yeah, this is not, this is not comfortable, not having it in the back pocket. No, definitely not. Uh, but if you wear it in the front pocket, it's manageable. Well, to be honest, I expected not to like the Wonder Wallet that much because of this giant size, but it's really not that bad and it does keep it fairly thin. So I'm actually gonna try out this wallet instead of my Allet for a few days and see how it works taking the credit cards in and out, see if the money gets lost in that giant money slot. And it's $20, not too bad for a leather wallet with uh, RFID protection if you're worried about that. Again, there's a link to it down below this video. However, if you're still watching this video with me, it turns out it was one of those. But wait, there's more. The second wallet free just for additional shipping and handling. I guess I did that because they sent me an additional Wonder Wallet, which I don't need. So what I'd like to do is give this away to one of our viewers. If you're interested in the Wonder Wallet, just uh, comment down below this video, something about the Wonder Wallet, so I know you're interested in it. And then the end of the month, this is uh, January 25th, 2016. So on the 30 days, 31st, I'll take a look at the comments and I'll pick one and get in touch with that person and notify you that you have won the Wonder Wallet. If you are um, under 18 though, you do have to have your parents' permission because I'll have to get your address in order to put this in the mail to you. So the Wonder Wallet is actually one of the better competitors to my favorite wallet of all time, the Allet. I'm gonna be giving this a try and maybe I'll be done shopping for wallets, but I'll still be doing more reviews. You can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches.